Welcome everyone to Self Principle. Today we're going to talk about carbohydrates and the risk of death. So this is an interesting study from 2018 and the question they were asking was what happens with high carbohydrates and what happens with low carbohydrates? Is there one that's better than the other or is there an optimal amount of carbohydrates that have the lowest risk of dying associated with them? So the background was, we know that low carb diets continue to be very popular. So are high carb diets. And the question is, is one better than the other? And what is really the relationship when it comes to the risk of death? Now there's been previous meta-analysis, which means looking at a bunch of studies together. And what they have really said is that there's an increased risk of death specifically from low carbohydrates. Now the question is, is that true? So in this particular study, they were looking at the RX study, which is a long running trial. It's prospective, which means it's looking into the future. It's observational, which means it can't say A causes B. It can only say A is associated with B. And what they looked at was four different US communities. And the average age was about 40s to 60s. And they followed these people for about 25 years. So a very good, excuse me, long-term follow-up. Now, some interesting things about the people in the study. First, the average intake of carbohydrates was about 48, 49%. This matters because there wasn't any extremes, meaning very, very low carbohydrates or very, very high carbohydrates. So this affects the data somewhat. But more importantly, the total amount of energy these guys were taking was only about 1,600 calories a day. So if you look at the typical American, they take far more than 1,600 calories a day. So this may not be a good sample to apply to everybody else. Most of the people in the study were Caucasians. In the low carb group, they were mostly males. They were college grads, so these are pluses. On the minus side, they tended to already have higher BMIs. They didn't exercise as much and they smoked more. So if the data shows that low carb is bad, is it that low carbs are bad or is it because the people in this group tended to smoke more, exercise less and weight more? Interesting question. And they had more diabetes. Okay, so what did they find? Well, what they showed was that there's a U-shaped curve. So right over here, what you will see is that the lowest amount of mortality is really around 50 to roughly 55%. And the highest mortality, which is way up here, this was associated with the lowest amount of carbohydrate intake. So once you got into really around 20% or so, that had the highest mortality, at least in this study. Now, let's take a look at it a different way. When you compared it to moderate carbohydrate, and what was moderate carbohydrate? Once again, 50 to 55% what they found was that high carbohydrate people the folks that ate a lot more carbohydrates tended to die about a year sooner and that's up here and then when they looked at the lowest carbohydrate intake group what they found was they tended to die about four years sooner so the difference between low carb versus high carb in this particular study the impact of a low carb diet was a lot more severe than high carb. Then let's look at the meta-analysis portion of this study where they looked at a bunch of different studies and what they found was in the low versus moderate, remember what was moderate? 50 to 55% carbohydrates. They found that low carb increased your risk of dying by 20% and high carb increased your risk of dying by 23%. Now, if you compare this to other studies like the PURE trial, what you see is something similar here, which is that the same area, meaning the higher carbohydrates that you went above 50, 55, the higher your risk of death. So those are the similarities between both ARIC and the PURE trial. So in both of them, higher carbohydrates were linked with higher mortality. But the PURE trial did not look at this portion, which was the lower carbohydrate side. Okay, so now let's look at 
what happens between animal-based and plant-based. So if you were going to do a low-carb diet, what you find is, is that the higher the amount of animal product, meaning animal fats and animal proteins, the higher your risk of dying. Yet, if you switch that and still did a low-carb diet, you said, hey, I gotta do a low-carb, that's what works for me, okay. If you did that more with whole foods plant-based diet, what you saw was that there was actually a lower reduction in the risk of dying. So plant-based diets, even when done with low carbohydrate style, are still beneficial. Now, the limitations. So a few things, right? They didn't define what a complex carbohydrate is, which is the same problem in the PURE trial, and that matters. White bread is not the same as whole grains. Animal proteins were defined as beef, pork, lamb, and chicken, but they did not define fish, and fish is important. And then the author's disclosure. Now, you know they're getting funding from the Walnut Commission. They're getting funding from dairy management. So how much of this data towards things like dairy, towards things like walnuts, would it be skewed? And the answer is, is it always is. And then this is a cohort study, not um, any kind of a population-based study where we were randomizing. This is only correlation. So you want to remember, correlation does not equal causation, which means A cannot equal B. A can be linked to B in a correlation study. And of course, these guys, they weren't really eating the same calories that everybody else eats. So eating about 15, 1600 calories a day is not what the typical American eats. So this study is not really representative. And then the famous food frequency questionnaire. FFQs is the bane of every nutrition study. And yet, we have such a hard time remembering what we ate yesterday, let alone what we ate last week. So always take those with a grain of salt. Okay, what is the bottom line? What can you walk away from this study and take it for your own personal life? So here you go. First, both high and low carbohydrates are linked with a higher risk of death. If you wanna know what is ideal based on this data and other data, it's around 50-55% carbohydrate intake. And then low carb diets, if you're gonna follow a low carb diets, using plant-based proteins, plant-based fats is healthier than using animal-based proteins and animal-based fats. And finally, if you talk about carbohydrates, the quality of carbohydrates matters, always. And that's it for this time. Thanks so much for checking us out. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. That's how we grow. And uh, would love to hear your comments.